Bug out season, baby! <laughs> Shalom. I want to give all praises going on to Yahweh, Ba'asum, Yahweh, Ba'asum, Rekha Dash, Double Honest to Apostles and Elders at Great Millstone. Much respect to you, brothers out there. This precinct's word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth, the tabernacle of David, and the hopeful elect, and the speckled bird. I want to see Shalom. Let's get into it. So, as you see right here, see a repel bait. All right. A a as you see in his first conversation, he was like, I'm a. I'm going to speak in the flesh. All right, we, we up here supposed to be uh, speaking holy conversation, not after the flesh. All right, and just clearly shows that he's a bug out. All right, uh, uh, what it boils down to is a lot of dudes know that they're Israelites, but do not believe in the whole doctrine. You know, they're carnally minded, and to be carnally minded, is enmity against Yahweh by Shema He's not dealing with you. All right. So, hey, you'll get that one on one fight with Esau Edom and get blasted away. All right. You'll get blown away by Esau Edom easily. All right. Our blessing is not the sword. His blessing, Esau Edom blessing is a sword. You know, as the scriptures say, not to trust in your bow, not to trust in your sword. All right. You're supposed to trust wholeheartedly in how about from outside, no matter the situation or how dire it is out there. So I saw this from uh, Remnant Save 144, the elder Yasharamba. I right, subscribe to his channel. Very, very edifying brother, elder. All right. So subscribe to his channel. This is where I got it from. I, this is where I seen it first. But anyways, back to... Um, yeah, the Lord's not going to uh, uh, deliver you just because you picked up a gun and think your gun's going to save you in these last days. It's not. All right, somebody's going to be right. Either we're going to be right or you're going to be right. And according to the scriptures and according to prophecies, the ones that wholeheartedly trust in the Lord are going to be right. So I'm going to get a couple quick scriptures and I'm going to close out. All right, it's Hosea 1 and 7. This is what the elder brought out. All right, so the water for the elder, you know, sometimes the elders will bring out scriptures and bring it back to your remembrance, or you know, you write it down, and you know, that's what you're supposed to do first coming in. You know, understand that you're a babe and you don't know everything, and elders will bring out the scriptures, and uh, hey, you know, that's that's the Lord on them. You know, the spirit of Yahweh by Shema outside guiding them to guide you. All right. So it's Hosea 1 and 7. But I will have mercy upon the house of Judah. And I will so save them by the Lord, their power. And I will not save them by bow, nor by sword, nor by battle, nor by horse, nor by horsemen. All right. <laughs> All right. You ain't going to be saved up out of here, man. It's because you uh, uh got the biggest gun or whatever, man. Esau Edom got nuclear missile. He got he got drones. Hey, he got everything, man. And you think you're going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this man. All right? You ain't going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. You're going to get blown away, man. Matter of fact, uh, it says in the scriptures not to trust in your boat. Let's go uh, uh, to it. You know, I remember doing a, a lesson about it couple months ago because you carnal ass Israelites y'all ain't gonna make it man y'all not gonna make it Psalms 44 and 6 for I will not trust in my bow neither shall my sword save me but thou has saved us from our enemies the Lord's gonna save us from our enemies and has put them to shame that hate us alright so this is what we waiting for man yeah, it's hard taking this L right now, but it's all good because Esau Edom, he's going to take the biggest L. He's going to take the biggest L out of all these nations, all right? But you just got to wait patiently. And you carnal as Israelites that know that you're Israelites and, and the ones that don't. Hey, yeah, y'all have no patience. All right, doesn't the word say a uh, woe to you who lost patience? Roughly paraphrasing. You're going to get destroyed. 
but thou hast saved us from our enemies and have put them to shame that hated us. In the Most High, we will boast all the day long and praise thy name forever. Say la. <laughs> All right, we're going to boast in Yahweh by Shema in that day, man. We boasting now. Hey, because he's our power. He's our God. And he's our deliverer. And he's going to save us from our enemies. But y'all don't believe that. All right? Y'all don't believe that. But us over here, we believe it. All right? Y'all y'all nothing but <laughs> damn bug outs over here, man. Damn bug outs. Um... Because the word does say, wait upon the Lord. But before I get that, let's get Jeremiah 6 and 30. This is, this is exactly who you who you guys are that cannot wait for the Lord who's spewing out madness out here. This is Jeremiah 6 and 30. Reprobate silver shall men call them because the Lord has rejected them. The Lord rejected you. At least you repent. Would you... Mm. So like at least you repent But most likely With this dude Seeing his countenance And in in his talk He ain't gonna repent He's just gonna be a reprobate silver All right, He's a reprobate Israelite Matter of fact let's go to um, 2 Timothy 4 and 2 Preach the word. Does this brother go out there preach the word in season and out of season? You know, that's that's a good question. I have to go on this page. But this is our job. And if he does, hey, he's leading the flock to the slaughter. All right? And, and even if he don't, the ones that's following this nigga, they're gonna they gonna follow in the ditch with him. Second Timothy 4 and 2, preach the word, be instant in season. And out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. That's our job. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. All right? And he's going after his own lust. <laughs> Picking up Esau, Edom's blessing like that's going to save him. Our blessing is a spiritual blessing. Patience. Being a real man among men. All right? Teaching the law, and the commandments to our people, rebuking our people, rebuking them sharply. Okay, that's our job. Not to be out here tooting guns like you're gonna do something. All right, you're not gonna do nothing to Esau or Edom. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. And that's exactly what that man is turned unto fables. <laughs> Going after the lust of his own heart. Let's get a uh, Second Timothy three and sixteen. All Scripture is given by inspiration of power, and it's profitable for doctrine. Why, Lord? For reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. All right, but you clearly don't know the Scriptures. You clearly don't know what's going on. Hey, the angels, the spiritual power has always been with us. All right, when we were following Yah by Shema Sai. All right, but those that are carnal are not going to get that blessing of spiritual power. Okay, that the man of power may be perfected, duly furnished unto all good works. All right, and you're not being perfected to stand before Yah by Shema Sai that day. You're going to be destroyed in that day. Okay. Let's go to Zephaniah 3 and 8. It says, wait upon the Lord. It says, wait upon the Lord. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh, until the day that I rise, rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be desired with the fire of my jealousy. Wait ye upon me. The Lord is going to save us. You ain't going to save yourself, nigga. You're not going to save yourself. Jeez. Just like I did a lesson earlier today, you're not going to be able to escape these curses. All right? Part of the curses 
is us being devoured by our enemies. You're not going to be able to escape that. Only by Yahweh size are we going to be able to escape the curses when we get in the kingdom. That's when we're going to be saved from our enemies. Let's get a uh, Baruch 425. I love it. Love it. My children suffer patiently. Suffer patiently. The wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. All right, these curses that are upon us. Why? Because we didn't keep our part of the covenant. For thy enemy have persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his name. All right. When the Lord gives us that spiritual power in these last days, when he cracks that sky, that's when we're going to be able to tread upon the neck of our enemies. All right. Matter of fact, let's get some spiritual power. Let's go to um, Isaiah 59, 19. One of my favorite ones when I heard. One of my favorite ones. When I first uh, came into the truth. All right. Isaiah 59, 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood. The spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. That standard, that spiritual power. All right. But you niggas don't believe it. Let's get some more spiritual power. Isaiah 41 and 14. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee. The Lord will help us, saith the Lord. And thy redeemer, holy one of Israel, behold, I will make thee a new sharp thrusting instrument, having teeth, spiritual power. Thou shalt thrash the mountains and beat them small, and thou shalt make the hills as chaff. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them. And thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai, and shalt glory in the holy one of Israel. <laughs> All right. All right. This is going to be a beautiful thing, man. Here's another one of my favorites. Zechariah 12 and 8. In that day shall the Lord, Yahweh side defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And he that is feeble among them. All right. A brother that probably ain't got no guns. You know, it's, it's nothing wrong with having a, a legal firing arm. You know, that's, that's up to you and the Lord. That's none of our business, all right? But uh, if if you think your bow, your sword, your gun is going to save you in these last days, you're dead wrong. The ones that's going to get saved up out of here is the one that's wholeheartedly trusting Yahweh from outside, no matter the situation, all right? And that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, David, the greatest warrior, the greatest king. All right, right behind Yahweh Shai. All right, the second man on this earth. Sick. Slakia, the second greatest man on this earth. All right. And he said, they that is feeble among you is going to be like David in these last days. And the house of David shall be as the most high and the angel of the Lord before them. All right. That's what we're waiting for, man. All right. Uh, there may be one more. I'm trying to think what I want to get. Oh yeah, let's go to Psalms. Psalms ninety-one. Hey, that's that's beautiful in itself. Psalms ninety-one and ten. Uh, let me see. I'm started. Um. I'm starting at verse 8. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. All right. Lord willing, you of the elect, you'll be able to see the reward of the wicked when you get caught up in them chariots, especially. See, all of them be destroyed in these last days. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, and the most high thy habitation, by waiting patiently upon the Lord, keeping his law, such his commandments. All right. Not trusting in yourself. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. You hear that? 
for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all his ways to keep thee in all his ways all right his angels are going to keep charge over you all right they shall bear them up in the hands lest thou dash thy feet against the stone thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder and the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet all right esau edom's gonna be destroyed <laughs> all right why because he have set his love upon me therefore i will deliver him the lord is going to deliver us i will set him on high because he have known my name it's important to know his name as well okay but you know you got these brothers out here that preach in another god's name all right we're, we're gonna see who's who's a, a god's name is right all right we already know how about some outside is the right name that she should be calling on all right he shall call upon me and i will answer him and i will be with him in trouble you hear that i will be with him in trouble i will be with him in trouble i will deliver him and i will honor him all right so that's gonna come with long life will i satisfy him and show him my salvation all right the lord's gonna show his salvation and ultimately the greatest salvation is us being in the kingdom of heaven but right now we gotta wait patiently upon the lord all right so don't listen to these bug outs all right it's bug out season baby <laughs> all right don't listen to them all right they ain't got the truth they're gonna lead you into a ditch with that until next time lord willing shalom